Now today I'll be telling you introduction to MS Excel 2010. This chapter of introduction to MS Excel 2010 is very crucial from the point of view of for anyone who is reading this particular Excel because Excel basically you can do the calculation part, you can do the calculations in the cells where you cannot do the calculations in MS form because there are no cells. And each cells are having a di different cell address also you know. So what different types of questions that can come in the particular fill in the blanks and the particular uh, the shortcut, shortcuts that you have that I will be discussing today. So coming to this particular chapter, you have the introduction to MS Excel 2010 where you have, first of all you can see the fill in the blanks using the words given below. So the words are given below. So these words are related with the fill in the blanks. So you have to pick and choose. So the first one that you have, the name of the workbook is displayed in the dash. So this is an essential thing that everyone must be knowing. But what is the like where the dash the name of the workbook means the workbook you know the name there should be a name in the, for the workbook is displayed in the dash where it has been displayed where you can see the name of the workbook of course if you browse this for the things rows no you don't know, don't get it in the rows you don't get it in the dot xls but you get it in the title bar so this point you will remember that this will be the title bar the name of the workbook that is displayed in the dash. So where it is displayed, you are displaying in the title bar. T I T L E. Title bar. Okay, you got it. So this one you is clear to you. The dash are numbered as one, two, three, four, and so on. So what is numbered and so on? Okay. Okay, so on. Okay, not why. So on. Okay, that's the number and so on. So it goes on, so on. The dash and number so on. While the dash and number as, okay, you write while, W H I A D, while, the dash and number as A B C. So there are two parts one is the 1, 2, 3, 4, and one is the A B alphabetical things, that is numbers, and so, so what a number? You know that Excel is like rows and columns. So rows, you know, rows are like this. This row, this rows you find rows are numbered as one, two, three, four. You have already seen the Excel, so there will be the rows. R O W S. It will be the rows. So rows are numbered as one, two, three, four, and so on. While so you are continuing the sentence while the dash are numbered as A B C D, like this, and so on. Okay. And so on. So now, so, so the columns C O L U M N S. So over here, C O L U M N S columns. That's it. So columns are numbered as A B C and so on. Now I come to the third one, the M S Excel 2010. Files have the extension. So what? File the extension. So, what is the extension name that is very important? Whenever you are making a file or sending a file or you tell them the extension, that means the file has a primary name and a second name, and the primary name and the second name is, is separated by a full stop. So, over here in this case, you have dot x l s x. So, this will be extension over here dot x. L S X. The name can be anything, whatever name you are typing and pressing enter. So that has been saved in the extension file dot X L S X. Okay. Now coming to the particular the fourth one. So third one, complete fourth one. The default name for a workbook is default name. Always the default name comes in the book wise. So it will be the book one. So over here the book. One. This will be there, and so you have completed this part. And this number B we are having. Write the keyboard shortcuts. The shortcuts you know simply make 
shortcut. It's a not long cut. It's a not long way. Short way. That is called the shortcut for the following. So for the following, open Excel using the run dialog box. So whenever how you are opening the Windows dialog box. So that will give first the Windows, the Windows key plus the R key. The Windows key plus the R key you give to make the shortcut. Right. So now, when you give that for the shortcut, when you come to the next one, saving a workbook that you put down as Ctrl S. So this is Ctrl S, the shortcut way how to save it in Ctrl S. And opening a new workbook. How do you open the new workbook? See, so how fast you have to do. So how fast you have to do? Shortcut you must be doing. So opening a new workbook, Ctrl plus it. So you press the Ctrl key, CTR and end. So you open the new workbook. You can give a name to it and save it, whatever you do, but that is the shortcut. Coming to the last one or the fourth one. Opening an existing workbook. So how do you open the existing workbook? Ctrl plus O. These shortcuts are very helpful because you can do the work very fast. So I just repeat the first one, opening Excel using the run dialog box. That means you have to use the run dialog box. So Windows key and R will come and then you have to type out Excel. Otherwise Excel will not come. Okay. And so you are helping the run dialog box will come only when you give the Windows and R. Okay. Now come to the next one. Saving a workbook control plus S. And opening a new workbook control plus N. And opening an existing workbook control plus O. These small tips will help us to do the work much easier. Maybe anyone Anywhere doing Excel is a help to them. Okay, thank you. Hope it's clear. Thank you.